bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My name is supposed to be Peter Daniel. You are watching me in Heaven and Hell Life program. The one we used to do every uh, from uh, Sunday to Thursday. From a Sunday to Thursday. Every day. By 9 a.m. By the grace of God today, we are going into serious study. We are going into serious study. Very important study. I pray the Lord will help you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Let's pray. Everlasting Father, we want to bless your name because you are faithful. We want to thank you because you never fail. Be thou glorified and be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask you, O oh God, that you send your spirit into our heart. You open our eyes to see the things of the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you are God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, today we are going to talk on the topic clothing. Clothing. That's what we want to talk about today. Clothing. And this clothing is going to involve the makeup, whatsoever man is putting on on their body. I want to talk about it today by the grace of God. There are a lot of controversy over clothing. There are people who are talking about uh, clothing. Some say that it is not good to wear trousers. Some say it is good to wear trousers. Some different kind of uh, things that is going on around the world. Makeup. I it. Where did it start? So all those things are what we are going to deal with. Some people are also talking about clothes, uh, clothes people wear. Some say that uh, to wear flower clothes is a sin. Different kind of things and different kind of uh, ideology. The Lord bless us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, by the grace of God, I will not waste your time. I will try my possible best to make everything very fast and very quick. Now, the first thing is this. To wear clothes is not a sin. The Bible makes it to clear, clarify it for us that when Adam and Eve ate the, the fruit, the forbidden fruit, which God asked them not to eat, there is a disappearance of glory in their life. And God came and made clothes for them. The clothes he made for them then was a animal flesh. Animal flesh. That uh, the animal flesh, that was the clothes he made for them. So they begin to wear animal flesh in that time. As time goes on, people begin to understand how to create and how to make clothes. Nile was there. Uh, tonic was uh, there's something they call uh, it, 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 it's tunic. So they begin to add different kind wool clothes and different kind of clothes are being made after run. And these clothes were all permitted for people to wear. And as time goes on, people begin to misuse the wear of clothes. Now, I'm going to tell you where God is going to come against clothing. And why is he coming against it? I will tell you. From the beginning and the creation of the world, God wants man to be identified as man. And God wants women, women to be identified as woman. Anything that will make man to use what belongs to woman, or that will make woman to use what belongs to man, it's going to be a great sin and abominable things before God. Because true, true, women are being bring out from man, but there is things that things that God created in woman 
that God did not want men to be missed with it in his present. For example, we may used to discharge every time. It's a nation of women to discharge every time. And it is a nation of women to do a menstrual period every month. These are things that God created for women. Men doesn't have the start except if their bodies are rosed. That is when they start. Now, in the olden days, whenever women discharge, God used to see them as unclean at that time. He used to see them as unclean at that time. But as time goes on now, God has overlooked all those things. But nevertheless, the principle and the protocol of God cannot change. Now, what the Bible says about the men wearing things of woman is this. In Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. A woman shall not wear anything that pertains to a man. Nor shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all who do so are an abomination to the Lord your God. Now, I go into the history to go and look at what his trust is. I want to refer to trust now. I got to know according to history that uh, trusters in those days are being used in the European countries, in the Western country there. And those who use it are rich, rich people in those days. Men or women can use it. Then mainly they use it to ride us. Then mainly they use it to ride according to the history I read, I study. But as time goes on, they identify trousers as men's wear. White gowns are for women. And do you know what? Whatsoever you identify, for example, now let me let me set an example for you. In your house, you might have everything. Let me let me use a share, the share in your house as an example. All the share in your house, everybody, anybody can come there to see that. It's meant for sitting down now. But at the moment you said this particular share, I'm going to be the only one to sit down there and to pray there. I'm dedicating it for God. There is a there is going to be an agreement in that statement in heaven. If any man come there to sit on that chair except you, it's going to be a sin. Because it has been known as the person who have said it is for man. Now, that I mean is it for himself. Now, that moment is said for himself. Nobody is going to sit there. As time goes on, as a person begins to pray and use that place as a place of prayer for himself or whatsoever, as he begins to pray, if anybody else sits on it, if it is even possible, self, God can strike anybody else dead. You'll be surprised that the same chair you have been sitting all this while is the same chair that God is striking somebody dead on it. The reason is because there is an agreement in that statement. Now, in the old days, it is well known that this trust it belongs to man. Anything that has two ladies belongs to man. And it has been written like that in heaven. So God has seen it as what belongs to man. Now, in the process, Satan know because Satan know the principle of God. Satan has been living in the earth for a long time. Satan has been living in earth for a very, very long time. So he know what God make God angry. He, and what made God angry is what he always delights people to do so that they can, they can be an enemy of God. Now, in the process of these things, Satan begin to initiate people to start creating 
trusses that also will be for women, which is not cannot be acceptable again. Once deed can never be undone again. So since that time, God has seen it as an abominable for women to be wearing trousers. So as time goes on, the religion is, ah, this one is for women, this one is for men. It is not, it cannot be changed anymore. So since that time, God has seen it as things that belongs to man. Number two, what God is also me, listen to me very well, please. It's something you have to learn and understand very well. What God also mean by saying that women should not wear what belongs to man. Do you know that it is not proper for your wife to wear your clothes as a man? He said it is a round neck now, to be my husband who, that it is an abominable thing because it is written in the Bible. For a man, is it proper for a man to use the same soap that the woman is using? It's an abominable thing. Anything that man is using, woman is ought not never to use it. Don't say that to me, it's my husband and wife. What is when we are having intercourse? Having intercourse is a different case. When you finish your intercourse, you use your things separately. Woman using towel that, that a man has used is abominable things. It's a forbidden thing. It's thing of it's irritating things to God, which, which can bring the judgment of God on, on, upon that fellow. Now, some people say, ah, but it's my husband, and the Bible says the two have become one. Yes, but not in the area of clothing. Not in the area of clothing. Some women will go and take their husband bossa. In fact, it's so disgusting to God. This can shake away the real present of God. Do you know that they are fake present and they are real present? Do you know they are real present of God and they are fake ones? Some people thought they are working for God, not knowing they are working for the devil. They pray for the sick and the sick get healed. They raise the dead and the dead come back to life, not knowing that God has slipped them. The angels of the devil, you see, when the angels of the devil appear to somebody, it can also appear in the form of angel of light. That doesn't mean, that doesn't mean that such people, that's a, that uh, the angel that is working with is the angel of God. When I get to second effort, I told you about my previous encounter. If you went to my YouTube of those who didn't know, uh, those who didn't know about it, there's a testimony I gave that I've removed. My encounter with Satan in second heaven. I said it earlier. I saw different kind of demons there. That is where I got to know that as you are mentioning in the Michael of God, there is another in the market that is also working for the devil. This thing is a thing that I, in fact, I have to pray to God. I have to ask him that why is it like that? And they gave me the answers. If you say in the man, in the Gabriel, there is in the Gabriel in heaven and Satan himself too. Out of the people that is working for within now, there's another in the Gabriel there too. You see, when I get to the palace, if you listen to that, so for those who have listened to the message I gave before I've removed it, I'm going to post it back again. On the set, my encounter with Satan in second ever. When I went second ever, when I get to Satan palace, I'm telling you, it's made of gold. So do you think that the devil that they prostrate to you, that is having to owe, is the same way the devil be? It's not so. Satan is very handsome. I'm telling you the truth. Satan is not as ugly as you think. The people are portraying it to you that uh, Satan is ugly. No, 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 no. It's not like that. Satan is not ugly as you think. He is handsome. Purely handsome. I won't lie to you. Satan is purely handsome. I will not lie to you. So, as I was saying, 
as I was saying, when I get to the palace of the devil, there are things I notice that give me big time worries. I begin to say, ah, Lord, why is it like this? Number one thing is that the palace of devil is made up of gold. The pillar is gold. Everywhere is gold. Yes, I know it is God that created everything. But the way he arranged his own palace is the same way God arranged his own palace in heaven. That is why there are some pastors that are, that are operating under satanic celestial powers, satanic powers, satanic kingdoms, and they think they are operating in heaven. And that is why there are a lot of errors in the church now. A lot of errors in the church now. Now, I am saying all this so that you can understand. You can understand what I am telling you. That's why I'm saying all this to you. So that you can understand vividly what I am telling you. The Lord will help you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, when I get to second effort two, I also notice that the devil there too, the ways he has arranged his people, the, the, the people who are working with him, the agent working with him, is the same way God he has in the market. Devil have in the Gibraltar. Devil have in the Ure. Devil have all these angels' name in heaven, and the reason is because the reason is because. When the battle arises then in heaven, they fall apart. There are some group. You see now, listen to me now. The way heaven is being made of. Let me explain to you the way heaven is being made of. So that you can get me very well. Now, the way heaven is being made of is this. Angel Michael, ask Angel Michael, is like a title. Are you listening to me now? Ask Angel Michael, is like a title. There is one ask Angel Michael, is the leader. He's a, he, he also has his own angel following him. Those angels too will be called Angel Michaels. Are you understand? Maybe you don't understand me. It's just as if I'm, my name is Apostle Daniel now, you know. All my disciples following me, they too are bearing Apostle Peter Daniel, but they are Apostle Peter Daniel Juniors. Do you understand me now? Do you understand me? Now, they are Apostle Daniel Juniors. So also it is. So that's why you, we have Angel Michael, Angel Michael, Angel Michael. Angel Michael is different from Acts Angel Michael. The Acts Angel Michael is the end of the angels. Are you there? It's the head of the angels. I'm trying to bring you your knowledge to a deep, deep thing about heaven. Now, as angel Michael is the head, he has angels. Out of his own angels, there are angels that also friend with the devil. They call him Lucifer then when, he, when he, he was in heaven. There are people who are among the disciples of as angel Michael who fell with the devil. Because they align with devil, they are collide with him. So all those angels that were coming out of these groups, they also their name remained the same. So all these celestial people, Kerubu and Sedafu, when they say, when they are praying in the name of angels, it is not the real angel of God coming to them. Are you there at all? Are you there at all? Are you there at all? So it is. It is. It is the angel of the devil. But when they come, they will appear in their royal priesthood because God didn't take away this thing from them. They appear to them. So it made them confuse that it is God that is appearing to them. Do you now understand me now? Now, so the devil have these kind of things. I'm just trying to bring this logic to your understanding, so that you can understand what it means. What it means. Now, the devil knows that all these things, 
a thing that makes God angry. That is why he, he, initi he initiated his agent to be producing trousers for women. He now call it unisex. He call it, this one is for women. This one is for man. Hear me, anything that belongs to man, belongs to woman. man. Anything that belongs to woman, belongs to woman. Well, whenever you use anything that belongs to man, whether the anointing is flowing from your hair like a harrow, you are on your way to hell. That is for the trousers. Now, I want to go on the dressing now. Dressing. Number one thing I want you to know is this. Let me first talk about uh, the clothes that people wear. They are clothes that we never and we never and we never be acceptable in heaven. If you are truly a candidate of heaven, listen to me very well. Listen to me very well. The elect and the candidate of heaven are the people who God has chosen on earth. You will read them in Matthew chapter 24. When he said for the elect sake, we shorten the gate. So there are people who are elect. Not everyone is elect. God loves all human beings, truly. But there are people who are elect. They are be assigned to make heaven. There are people who God has special interest in that have been totally assigned to make heaven. These are the people I am talking about. These people, and God created these things when people begin to accept Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. Whenever you accept Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, God will see you as one of the helot. And there are rules and regulations that guide all these things. One of the rules and regulations is that you must, you must, you must never and never and never wear anything that transparent. Because God will be seeing you as somebody who is an alert. Your dressing must not bring a fellow brother or a fellow sister drop down. Any clothes, before you go out every day, look at yourself. Any clothes you wear that will make your brother fall into sin, don't wear them. It's not the matter of I am living in a cold country or I am living in a hot country. Don't wear them. If you wear it, the Lord will remove the sin from your head and you will be classified as people who are no more in a let children of God. Number two, any cloth as a woman that will open your chest. Listen, you see this cloth I'm wearing now. You see that it cover my neck. Women are not to wear round neck like this. When, if you know the round neck, when you do like this, you bend your head like this, it will be transparent. Your breast will be, they will be seeing your breast. They will be seeing your bra. Or they will be seeing the shape of your breast. You know, you know, women have a shape. I don't, I don't know what they call it in English. It has a shape. Women have a shape. That way, they might not shoot, you might not see their breast, but you can simply see the arrow that traced to their breast. That arrow that traced to their breast can tempt man. That arrow is low. Because the way God created women, God created women in a way that they will be so, so, so tempting. They will be, they will be like, how can I say it? They will be so that even where, even, even a woman that is ugly, when you open his body, your body will arose. That is the way God created them. And the, way, the reason he created it is because there is a thing, there is something that he put in our Adam. Adam, listen to me. There is something he put in Adam that can make, that will not make him arose. Listen to me very well. Adam was having an image of God before. And God doesn't have a rosy spirit. God, God, you know, he opened his spirit to come up. He never. But because of that, if because he wants multiplication on the earth, he has to remove the only thing that can make the image of God 
like Adam, image of man, like Adam, to be arosed, to be arosed, is when they remove it from their body. Now, for example, now, let me give you in, in a very simple way so that I can understand. The Bible said, when Adam sleep, he said, God make Adam sleep. And out of his rib, he take out of his rib to created woman. That woman is created. After he created the woman, the Bible says he sealed it back. Now, when Adam wake up and he saw the woman, woman come to her. Nobody tell Adam that this one is a woman. He himself, he knows. He said, this is the bone of my bone. The flesh of my flesh. He can, there, is a, there is a magnetic, there is a connection that connects Adam to that woman. That makes him to know that there is a bone, his own bone is in that woman. That connection is the one that makes attraction to Adam. That makes him, whenever he want to, whenever God wants them, them to have sex, they can have sex. Because there is this connection that makes him attract. This is my bone. You know, like that thing, like you are having, it's like, it's like, ah. Uh, let me do this something like this. When, when a brother, and his sister is being born of the same father, the same mother. I'm not talking about the one demon possess you, a normal brother and sister. You will see that they will not have this mind of having sex with themselves. You have that kind of mentality. They will not have the mind of sexing with themselves because the, the blood that produces them is the same blood. But let, let, let a brother let a man, a, a boy who has been be born of one parent and maybe one of the uncle's son or daughter come to their house that is not from their same father, the same mother, and they sleep together. If care is not taken in the evil what we have, they will be arousing, the body will be arousing. The girl will be, will be arousing against the boy while the boy will be arousing because they are just ordinary family. It's not same blood. But the blow, if this it is the same blow, there's no way the girl can open body like this. There will be like irritation. That no, 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 no. In fact, even though you look at the penis tomorrow, it will not arose. Even though you look at the body tomorrow, it will not arose because they are the same father, the same mother. The blood. So God has put something in that blood that makes the same father, the same mother, not to have the same relationship sex. Also, God has put something in that bone that whenever Adam see her, his body will be able to arose. Why can't God create a woman separately from the, the same way he created Adam? If he created him like that, there will be, there is no way there can be a cordial relationship like a sex within them because there will be something that is coming against each other. Do you understand me? That is why whenever, no matter how a dog is beautiful, no matter how a goat is beautiful, no matter how it is so beautiful, I'm not talking about somebody who is demon possessor. No matter how it is beautiful, your body will never be a rose to go and have sex with a dog. Except those who are possessed with demon. I'm talking about those who is naturally human being. Your body cannot be Except there's a demon in control. Because you are of the different species. The bone. Now, a dog cannot see you. Dog cannot see you and start trying to have sex with you. It's not possible. Except demon is into lying. When demon is in line, they will begin to have feelings. That's what the Bible called changing the nature of affections. They are changing it together. Which God, God didn't put it that way. Do you understand me? Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, now, the way God created woman, under you, your arm, your hand like this can tempt a man. Under your hand like this can tempt a man. I have seen a woman who confessed to a pastor and said, I need deliverance. When the pastor say, why? He said, anytime you see a mass bossa, it's not that the man is wearing it. Too. 
maybe the brother, the brother just, just wash his own body and go and spread it. By just seeing the butter on the on the roof, our body will be eroded. You see that? <laughs> you see our body will be eroded. Because the way God created it is a different something. Your body, women, if you see your texture, your body texture, you will see that it's soft, soft, somehow different to man. Your body is different. Your arms are too different. That is why you cannot just be shaking my hand anyhow. That is why you cannot just be exposing your body anyhow. Some people say, a um, uh, uh, hey, brother raped me. Nobody is raping you. Your body is the one tempting him. You cannot just open your body anyhow. You cannot just open your anything anyhow. Because your body, the way God created you is tempting. Is tempting on his own. So you have to make sure that you didn't make your fellow brother fall according to what is in the Bible. What Paul, what is saying? So whatsoever you will do that will make your brother sin, don't do them. You must make sure your clothes. Probably I know you have been showing clothes that is just recent here before. Recent year before. It's recent year. But as from now, whenever you want to show clothes, make sure that your clothes is recent here. Recent here. Or recent here. Make it long sleeves. Make it long sleeves. Please, I'm begging you in the name of God. Make it long sleeves. Women. Number two. Make your clothes cover to your neck. What are you leaving this place for? For waiting now. Why are you allowing share? Why are you leaving your chest? Your chest area and your back area. What is the meaning of leaving back area? What is the meaning? And from now, make your clothes cover like this. Make it cover like this. If you do want to go to hellfire, make your clothes cover like this. Number two, your clothes must go down. If you are wearing gown, let the gown go down to your leg. Not a half leg, you. I am not talking about half leg, not half leg at all. I am not referring to half leg. Let it reach your, your uh, what are they calling it? Your feet. Abi, that's your ankle in your leg, yeah. Your leg, let it reach there. Let people call you SU. The reason is because if you make it just half of your leg or to your knee, your leg alone is, is, is tempting. Your leg can tempt man. You might say, oh, My leg is not tempting. I remember there was a many years ago, many, many years ago, many, many years ago. I was still, I was a pastor, but I was just coming as a pastor, you know, many years ago. I, one day I was just, I was a pastor then. I was washing my clothes. So I wear to the quarter clothes, to the quarter. I wear singlet and I was washing my clothes. For crying out uh, loud. As I was washing my clothes, behold, a sister passed by. Sister, the sister have known me. She's an old sister. She looked at me and said, Hey, Pastor, see how your leg is fresh. I said, Hey. hey. Is it, so you have, you have here in your chest. I said, Ah. I said, Ah. He said, Ah. Oh God, ah, and I like the way you have here in your body. Oh God, wow, wow. Very handsome and beautiful body. Eh? Ha. I, bet I go inside. I go inside. Don't go it means even man, man trusts a contempt woman. So this one is not a matter of a, your leg in me can tell somebody. You might not know. So that is why you need to cover it down. 
to your feet. Then number two, any clothes you are going to wear that is going to show your outfit like this, never wear them. Any clothes you will wear that will show your armpit, never and never wear them. Never wear them. Because your armpit is near to your breast. It's not compulsory that you must say uh, uh, that uh, 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 that uh, uh, yeah, it should be I'm covering my body. It's just uh, in as much you are wearing something that can show your armpit. There will be the imam will be matching your breast. Number two, if you know you have big bomb, uh, big uh, breast, do wear something that will be too tight that will shoot your breast out. Don't wear it. You shoot it out. Anything that will shoot your breast too much out, do wear them. I know there are some women that will just tighten their displays so it will be. So the break can come out like this, shoot out like this. Especially there are some women that they will not wear good bra. So their, their nipple will just... All these kind of things will take you to hellfire. It's everything you to hell. Make sure you look at glass very well, whether your nipple is showing or not. Looking at your nipple in low can arose man. Man can wet. So you are not to use them. Check it very well. Number three, you as a woman, you ought not to wear something that will tight your bonbon. You know, say you get bonbon, you get bakashi, as what people call it. They call it bonbon. Bomba. And you are wearing something that can tempt woman, a man. It's dangerous. You will now begin start start going. You have wear it to your book of bomb bomb will start pa pe pa pe pa pe pa pe pa pe pa pe pa pe. And you will you will, you you will walk past the the boy the brother pa pe pa pe pa pe pa. And you say the brother which you know which you know be chasing you around. He will chase you around now. When is when is not a uh, he put, uh, what, what are they calling it? He will say you are around. If you know you have bomb bomb, package your bomb bomb where where there's no sin there. Wear something, wear a skirt, a, a tight skirt inside your bomb. There's a way the woman wear, wear it. You wear tight skirt inside that can make your bomb bomb come. So that it will not be. Pe, 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 pe. Because all those pe, 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 it can make men go to another level without even talking to them. Without show, it, you didn't matter. It will take them to another level. So wear something that you, you will first wear small, uh, tight something inside to, to make your bum bum bam. Then you now wear big skates that will not show your the skirt that women can wear that are just pretty, 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 pretty. You will just wait so that it will just free. Even though your bomb is going to come out, it just come out little, not too much, like boom. No, 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 no. It will just come out little. Not in a way that you just give. The people will say, eh, say this is a game like this. No, 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 it's not good. In a way, you just do it. If your bomb is still boom, you cannot make heaven. Over. You cannot make heaven. God will not send you to hell because he gave you bomb. He will send it to hell because you are not using it in a right way. You are using it to tempt man. And from now, start wearing skirts that will not show your bum bum. Number two, women, women are not to wear tight. Tight is a sin. Legis is a sin, and it can take you to hell. Ah, sir, eh, but the country I am now, the country is very cold. Uh, if I don't wear leggings, if I don't wear trousers, inside my house, you will not see it. Uh, it's, uh, the cold will enter my body, and I can freeze. I can do that. 
it's better you freeze and go to heaven than you go to hell fire. Number two, you must not wear trousers. You can wear socks that is longer to your uh, to your waist, but not as a form of wearing as a trouser. You can just wear in long socks. You know how to package yourself. So God bless you, Jesus' name. Another thing I want to tell you is also you must not use any eye heal. Eye heal is a sin. Those who are using IE in those days are prostitutes. People who are proud, who have pride in them. People who have pride in them and the people who are using IE. And this is mostly made from the man made. All these clothes you are seeing that you are wearing is mostly made from the man made, from the uh, marine world. You have to be extremely very careful. Another thing is makeup. The first woman that used makeup in the Bible is Jezebel. The first woman that used makeup in the, in the Bible is Jezebel. You must not use any makeup at all. Elsa, but say, what of a, a white powder? White powder will send it to hell. God wants to see you in his natural way. Don't put any powder at all. Any wet leaves. He said, uh, but uh, because of dry season, uh, because of weather, I can put small leaves. Don't put. If you know your mouth is dry, just cream your mouth with an olive oil. There's a way you cream your mouth that that place will be mush. But make sure that you are not creaming your mouth so that the mouth can see you and uh, be enticed to you. You can just use your normal cream your rub, rub to just squeeze it, not as a painting, you know, like as if you are creaming your mouth. Don't use web lips. Web lips are from the marine world. Another thing is, uh, another thing is using perfume and roll on. Any Christian using roll on, or perform is on their way to hell. Using perfume or roll-on. If your armpit is smelling, go and use natural meat like lemon. If you put lemon there to rub it and uh, baking soda, your, your, your armpit will not be smelling anymore. Anything that will make you to use perfume in your body or roll-on as a woman or as a man, you are on your way to hell. Another thing the Bible took in 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 3, and in second in first Timothy chapter 2, verse 9, it talks about peers. You are not to use anything shiny. Any clothes that is shiny must not be used on your, on your clothes. Stones must not be put on your clothes. If you put stone on your clothes, you are on your way to hell. Remove all the stones in your body. I pray God will bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Remove all these things. Any things that will make your body to be shine, shine, it will take you to hell. God bless you in Jesus' name. Be careful so that you will not go to hell. It will take you to hell. Another thing I want to tell you, anything make up, anything make up, do use it at all, except cream. Year cream finish. You are not permitted to 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 palm your head. You are not permitted to palm your head to put something that will make your head soft. That will burn your hair. You are not permitted. If you use it, you are on your way to hellfire. You are not permitted to weave your hair. Natural hair. Cha. My check national here, yes. You are to comb it and pack it, finish. Don't use anything, anything 
on your head. Comb it, pack it, finish. Don't plate your hair. In the book of uh, First Peter, chapter 3. First Peter, chapter 3. Verses 3. Let me read. Do not let your adornment, adornment be merely outward. This version said, arranging the hair. King James version said, plenty the hair. Another one said, attaching the hair. Wearing gold or putting on fine appears, which is costly appears. You are not permitted. Fourth Timothy chapter 2. First Timothy chapter 2, verses 9. I will read here. In like manner, also that the women adore themselves in modest appear with proper uh, property and moderation, not with braided hair. Braided hair means doing your hair, plating your hair with attachments or with anything. Or gold, or appears, or costly cloth, and so on and so forth. Hallelujah. Now, you are not permitted to use all these things. Wedding ring. Wedding ring is not permitted. Anyone that uses wedding ring is going to hell. It is not written in the Bible for any man to use wedding ring. Your ring should be your Bible. Wedding ring is being introduced from the white men countries. Wedding ring is being introduced from white men country. Please do not. When it can take hell, wedding ring can take you to hell. You must not use wedding ring. Number three, you must not use same wristwatch. Same wristwatch, anything iron should not be used on your on your body. It's against flesh. Something. Your ring is not permitted at all. Shame is not permitted at all. You are not to use chain wristwatch. You can use leather. You can use rubber, rubber wristwatch, leather wristwatch, not, not chain. You are not to use chain on your body. The clothes you wear must not carry chain. The shoe you wear must not have logo, uh, chain logo. I know there are some shoes that they have small, small, uh, small, small iron. That one is nothing. But whenever it is becoming too much, you are to remove it. God bless you in Jesus' name. Another thing I want to tell you, there are some rumors that is going on around right now about things a woman should wear. Some are saying, it is not right for a woman or for any man to, we to wear flower clothes. Any clothes that they draw with flower or any clothes that is half design or any clothes that is half two color, that is a sin, is a lie. It is not a sin, it's a big lie. Another one that is coming out too is that you are not to wear white. You are not to wear white because those who wear white are from celestial something. It's a lie. The Bible says when Jesus Christ is a month of transfiguration, his clothes was white and sun with like a sun. 
Another place in the Bible, Bible advised us to wear white to make us happy. If you want, if you want, if I want to prove you, open your book to Ecclesiastes. That is the book of the preacher, Ecclesiastes chapter nine. Ecclesiastes chapter nine. Open it, verses eight. Verses eight. I will read for you here. Let your garment always be white and let your head lack no oil. Let your garment, what? So these are error messages that is going on around the world now. Are we going to remove that place in the Bible? They are saying that it is an error for, he said that it's not good that uh, anyone wearing white that he is on that uh, uh, celestial power or celestial something. It is not true. That revelation is not true. I'm reading a King James version now, King James version. Ecclesiastes chapter nine, verses eight. Let your garment be always white and let your head lack no ornament. You see that? Another version says so that you can be joyful. So wear white so that you can be happy. That's another version. So what am I trying to say is that you have to be very careful about these messages that are going on. We are record, you see, the color of the clothes you wear will not take you to hell. Listen to me very well. The color of the clothes, it is not clothes that makes people go to hell. The only thing that can make you to go to hell is that when you are wearing clothes that defies you, by making people to sin against God. Are you hearing me now? That is what makes you that can go to hell. The color of the clothes you wear. Do you know I make a research? I even taught myself, I taught Jesus Christ, the male clothes Jesus Christ used to wear on earth was white. That's what I taught. But when I make a research, I got to know that the clothes Jesus Christ mostly wear is red and blue. Red and blue. Now, let me be wearing red every time. Who, what would you call me cottage? Eh? You will call me cottage now. And Jesus Christ was wearing red always. He was re wearing blue always. He wear white once, once and once. But mostly wear red and blue. Let me wear red. Let me be wearing red. red. Every time I come to a uh, message like this, every time I like this, I wear red. Tomorrow, red. Next tomorrow, red. One week, red. One month, red. You say, ah, this pastor is a courtist pastor. No, be so. Because the courtist have age, I dark every color. Do you know that there are some places that when you wear ordinary yellow, the courtist, they will come and beat you down. They will say you are wearing that color. When you wear red, yellow, 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 your clothes yellow, your body, uh, your uh, uh, cap yellow, your sandals yellow. There are some quarters that their own color is yellow. They will come and beat you down here. All color, Satan tried to adapt them. That doesn't mean that color will take you to hell. Yet, the Bible says the white color is one of the, uh, the, uh, the purity clothes. The Bible, the Bible sees white as a purity clothes. But there are some people that are saying that white is a something. Don't believe such a message. Color of a cloth will not take you to hell. Then number two, there are some people that God commands for them to be wearing blue. There are some people that the way God created them, he wants them to be wearing blue. Just as John the Baptist that is wearing the, the cloth of an animal and is wearing and is eating uh, uh, white on him, we're eating white honey and bee and, and, and locusts and locusts me. 
So he's eating locusts and white honey. As this man is eating it, it's an instruction from God for him. So there are people that are instructed like that. So color will not take you to hell. And wearing uh, flower clothes will not take you to hell. It's a heresy message that is not in accordance to the word of God. The Bible call it a tradition of man. And the Jesus Christ told us that tradition of man will never take you to heaven. He said, what comes out inside you, that is what we defy a man, not what you wear. You can wear a wood, but there are some clothes that you cannot wear, like jeans. Jeans is made of, is made from the marine world. Jeans. Jeans is made from the marine world. There are some things that if you look at the label very well, you will see 666 there. That's why any clothes you buy, anything you buy, you have to check it very well. You will see 666 there. So the Lord will help you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because of our time, I will not be able to go much further on that. But this is what I want to tell you as a man, you are to dress pop appropriately. Women, if you know the shirt you are going to, because shirt is made for man. But if you know you want to wear shirt, make sure you wear something inside that is going to stand as a, a covering to your chest. God bless you and God be with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For now, this is where I'm going to stop for now. I'm going to stop for now. As I've told you before, do not wear mini skirt, bum short, tight, all these things are sinful. Always make sure that your body are covered. Then it is very important too that wherever you wanted to sleep, always wear clothes. Wear something. Don't sleep naked. It's not good. It brings you evil dreams and it's, it, it allows the devil to attack you. I, mean, I, do, I will not want to talk about that one day, but it's just a clue. So God will bless you. God bless you in Jesus' name. Please. Kindly subscribe to my channel as you are watching me and press the notification button. Send it to everyone. God bless you. God be with you in Jesus' name. Shalom. Bye-bye. God bless you.